Turn now to the super typhoon, one of the most powerful storms ever to hit land, destroying homes and taking lives in the Philippines. Among the worst hit spots there, popular tourist destinations for Americans. ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z is on the story right now. Ginger, good morning. Yeah, popular tourist destinations like Cebu and Boracay. Now, we're looking at some of the streets just filled with debris in these villages. The central Philippines smashed. And, of course, inside my story, we're actually going to hear from an American tourist that could not get out. But now, as we watch this super typhoon start to diminish and move west of the Philippines, we're just seeing the first pictures of what has happened behind the storm. Raw moments of rescue. The central Philippines wading through after being washed away. What does it look washed like? Out. Washed, washed out. out. The building, the house, everything. There are so many dead. The Red Cross estimating 1,200 dead. Parts of the islands devastated by what will likely go down as the most powerful typhoon in recorded history to make landfall. It was those wild 195 mile per hour winds, the chaos causing waves and surge to climb over 20 feet. Watch this guy just barely outrunning it. Norm Shriver, an American who was trapped in a hotel in Boracay, was forced to ride it out. You had to watch out for flying debris. Uh, you know, these tin roofs fly off and, and, you know, they're like projectiles. And the winds got to the point where you had to brace yourself. You know, it was blowing you around. As the compact typhoon screams toward Vietnam, our Gloria Riviera is on the ground behind it in the Philippines. They're going to be loading things like this. It's tents, it's blankets, it's food, it's water. It's going to come all the way up onto this C-130. This is the only kind of aircraft that can get to where it needs to go. With power and communication out for millions, there is so much left to learn about exactly what has happened behind Haiyan. How are the people? The people, they are all outside. Where are the people who are dead? Are they just in the street? They are all in the street. As of this moment, I think so. I can survive. Thanks, guys. He was so thankful to survive, and a lot of other folks feeling that way, and now bracing in Vietnam. Let me show you what happens with this storm. It really does diminish, but still Category 2, and it's kind of taken a more northern track, which is great for northern Vietnam. Still going to be some winds above 74 miles per hour, gusting to probably 100. And then quite a bit of rain, landslides, mudslides possible. We'll do much more in the nation's weather, but for now, back to Dana Biana. Those images were just devastating, Ginger. Thank